playful, elegant, and incredibly intelligent. That's your average feline best friend for you. There's a reason why cats are the second most popular pets not only in the United States but throughout the world. As a cat owner, though, you have to be very careful when it comes to taking care of them. Cats aren't naive at all, and you actually have to put in effort if you really want your cat to completely trust in you. If you're wondering how to go about that, we've got you covered. Here are 10 scientifically proven ways to make your cat trust you. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 10. Respect its space. Nobody likes getting their personal space invaded, but your cat might just hate it more than you thought. This applies especially if it's new to the home. Like pretty much everyone else, cats need time to adjust to new surroundings and if you annoy them while they're exploring the house, you probably end up on their list of things to hate. But one thing to remember is that this rule doesn't just apply if your cat is a new family member. You have to continue respecting its personal space no matter how long you've known it for. Cats won't really hesitate to tell you if they need your attention, so you don't have to assume and think they're doing something good by going out of your way and invading their space. Let them be, and they'll know you're one of the trustworthy ones in no time. Number nine, be predictable. Surprises aren't everyone's cup of tea, and they certainly aren't appreciated by your feline furball. You see, cats hate surprises, and there's one thing that's guaranteed to put them in a nasty mood. It's that startling sound out of nowhere. So be careful around your cat, especially if it's a shy little kitten. Some of the cats are pretty chill and don't really care about what goes on around them, but others can be quite sensitive to loud noises, screaming, or stomping on the floor. This can be a bit difficult to avoid if you have kids around, but in that case, see it as a good opportunity to teach your young ones about empathy and caring about the needs of an animal. Number eight, reward good behavior. We all need acknowledgement from time to time and your cat is no different. More important than punishing its bad behavior is rewarding your cat with a treat when it does something good. It could be anything, treats, a soothing voice, playtime, or even petting it. Whatever makes the cat happy is good enough. Consistent positive reinforcement over time is an excellent way to gradually develop your cat's trust in you. And before you know it, you'll be in a position to use positive reinforcement to get your cat to do whatever you like. There's no better way to bond with your kitty than this one. Number seven, learn where to pet it. Yes, cats are very sensitive to touch, but not knowing how and where to pet your cat can be a disaster. Generally, they like being petted in some places more than others. And if you really wanna build your cat's trust in you, it's time to learn what those places are. According to a study conducted in 2002, your cat is most likely to purr, blink, and knead its paw if you pet it on the forehead area and the cheeks. All of those are indicators that the touch is being received positively. On the other hand, though, if your cat hisses or swats its tail in response to a touch, that means you should avoid doing it again. That's most likely to happen if you try and pet the tail area, the one place that's guaranteed to put a cat in a bad mood. Number six, work on socialization from a young age. We've seen multiple studies conducted on kittens showing that just a few minutes of positive human interaction every day can go a long way when it comes to friendliness and trust in humans. If you're planning on getting a new cat, the ideal age to work on it would be when it's between two and nine weeks old. That's when a kitten is learning about its surroundings and developing its cognition. Any kind of positive interaction at this age will prove to be quite useful when it matures. Such cats grow up to be less fearful not only of their owner, but pretty much everyone else around them too. Number five, let the cat make its own choice. Consent always comes first, whether you're interacting with a fellow human or dealing with your pet cat. That means you have to be very cautious around your cat, especially if you're unsure if it's gonna like what you're doing. When that's the case, take a step back and observe your cat's reaction. What can you do here to perform a little consent test? Stop the interaction, give the cat some space, and see what it does next. If it hisses or moves away from you, make a mental note to not repeat that same thing again. Alternatively, if it purrs or snuggles up to you, it's safe to assume that's a green flag and you can continue playing with it however you like. Number four, make sure your cat isn't threatened by your physical presence. 
For your cat to trust you and actually willingly come close to you, first impressions matter a lot. That means you have to pay close attention to your physical presence around your cat. If you appear less threatening, chances are that your cat will take less time to feel comfortable around you. A few ways that you can ensure your cat is open to interactions are by getting down on the cat's level and gently extending a hand, paying attention to signs of annoyance, and giving the cat its space and letting the cat sit next to you without disturbing it. In no time, your cat will start rubbing your hand, which is a pretty good indication that it's starting to trust your presence. Number three, be consistent with your cat. Again, here's another trait that's common between humans and cats. We both love stability and knowing we can depend on someone. If you want your cat to trust you in the long run, make sure you feed and play with it regularly, not just when you are in the mood. According to many experts, feeding is one of the best opportunities to bond with your cat. It's a surefire way to ensure that your cat knows you are completely reliable in times of need. Another tip is to feed your cat several small meals a day. Over time, your cat will start associating you with food, which is surprisingly a pretty good thing in the cat world. Number two, stay clean and fresh. Cats are indeed very picky creatures. They pay more attention to detail than most other pets out there. One thing they are particularly choosy about is the cleanliness of their surroundings and of course their owner too. So if you want to keep your cat happy and trustful of you, make sure you're extra careful when it comes to hygiene. That especially applies to the toilet. A dirty toilet is a guaranteed way to make your cat hate you. So that's one thing you never want to risk. A useful idea is to invest in a self-cleaning litter box. Or if you can't do that, make sure you scoop up the waste and clean the box yourself daily. A clean and odor-free litter box is more important to your cat than most of us anticipate. And since an indoor cat almost entirely relies on humans to do the cleaning, it's a great way to build its trust in you. Number one, tons of playtime. Yes, cats can be moody and you need to learn when they want to be left alone, but having said that, it doesn't mean compromising on their playtime. You're going to earn lots of affection points if you make sure to play with your cat regularly in a way that it actually enjoys it. This can be an efficient method to build trust and remind your cat why it loves you so much. Be careful though, sometimes what you think is playtime might not be all that enjoyable for your cat. So don't forget to pay attention to its reactions and body language too. And make sure the playtime is mutually fun. So what do you think about all the ways to build your cat's trust that we've talked about today? Do you have suggestions of your own? Let us know in the comments below. Oh hey, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications for more content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.